Welcome back to a daily vlog. I have something really important to tell you guys. Computer pause. I'm listening to George Strait, 50 number ones. And this is the really important thing. I'm a rug bitch now! I love rugs. I just found these super soft, heavy memory foam rugs at an outlet near me. And I bought three, of course, and now I need another one to go in front of my toilet, and I need one in front of my kitchen sink, and I need two for the other bathroom. I'm insane now. I'm a rug girly. I never thought I would be. I clean houses, and when I go to someone's house and they have 17 rugs on their floor, I have to shake them all out, find a place to set them while I clean their floor. After I mop, I have to put all the rugs back down. Now I'm gonna have to do that at my house because I love rugs now. New year, new me. Right now it's a Saturday reset, so I am cleaning the toilet, I am cleaning our sinks, I'm gonna vacuum the floors, mop, clean the kitchen, and then I get to go play. Yesterday was kind of a, a rare day for us. Yesterday was Friday, and usually on Fridays, Elle and I are the busiest. Yesterday, Elle and I had to go running around, taking the dog to the vet. We wanted to go eat somewhere. I still had to work. I had two jobs after all that. Didn't get back until one. I went to work. It didn't take us long, though. We got back at like 3.30. That's the beauty of self-employment. Elle didn't even work yesterday, so good for him. Welcome back to B's voiceover. I have decided to do a voiceover instead of playing music because I need to practice my voiceovers. I am making the bed right now. I've got my favorite sheets on. They are dinosaur sheets. I got them for Christmas. They're the best thing ever. Like I said, before you vacuum, you gotta shake those rugs out good. This is two times the speed and this is four times the speed. This is normal speed. I don't know why I didn't speed this one up. And then I always mop the floor with Fabuloso. Oh, I got it everywhere. Lou calls Fabuloso Kapow because the smell is so strong. Kapow! And then put the rug back. Time for clam dip. Okay, I'm currently making clam dip to put in the fridge for later when we get hungry. And I don't know if this is like just the shittiest can opener in the fucking world or if these cans are really hard, or if I'm weak, you know? Mom's can opener down at her house is nothing like this. Like, this is so fucking hard to do. I have to hold it with my right hand and twist it with my left. Because if I grip it with my fingers on this side, I'll break my hand. And Lou will come in here and just fucking whoop, 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 done. So I just, I must be weak. I must be weak because this shit is fucking hard. I made a mess. I made a mess, of course. Okay, so you got a bundle of scallions, two blocks of cream cheese, and four cans of clams. Okay, you never know how much clam juice you'll need, so you always drain it in this bowl, a separate bowl. And if any extra clams fall in, you better grab them bitches out because a lot of clams do not come in this. It's very little amount of clams. That's why we use four or five cans each time. I'm halfway through the George Strait album and man, this album will make you cry and fall in love at the same time. Welcome back to this edition of Bee's Cooking. Today, we're making clam dip. Fun fact, I love clams so much, I eat them by themselves. I put them in my salad. I will literally eat them with anything. I even drink all the clam juice that's left over because it tastes so good. Now the clam dip is a little bit too thick, I'm gonna add some more juice. And then I gotta add scallions and my seasoning that I put in it. This is making a fucking mess! I just cleaned too. This does not look like the last batch that we made. I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's because I added an extra can of clams. Oof. I am drenched with clam. You should see my phone right now. It is drenched with clam. Clam dip. The bearded clam. Okay, this is crazy. Now we're gonna put our scallions in. Like a good amount. Don't let the rubber band fall in. 
much. I'm gonna do one more just for good luck. Okay, we're gonna need a few more. Seasonings you're gonna need. Garlic powder, cayenne pepper, paprika, onion powder, and salt and pepper to taste. Actually, uh, Tony Catrice, not salt and pepper. All right, see how it's pretty thick? I think we need a little bit more clam juice. I think it's good. Wow, that's fantastic. That's really fucking good. I could eat this whole thing with a spoon. Now we've got to put it in the refrigerator to chill. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this Saturday reset day watching me clean and do laundry and make that amazing clam dip. If you have never tried clam dip, I highly recommend you go make it. It's not even my recipe. It's Lou's mom's recipe, and she is a genius. I think she made it up. I don't really know, but definitely go try it. Today is Sunday, and I'm fixing to go work out. Thank <music> you.